Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over Dark Blade and if it is really worth your Robux. If you were thinking of trading for or spending Robux on Dark Blade, make sure to watch this video before doing it so that you know if you should actually get Dark Blade or not. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into this video. So, in this video, I will be talking about what Dark Blade is, the pros and cons of Dark Blade, and finally, my overall opinion of it. So, what is Dark Blade? Dark Blade is a mythical sword in Blox Fruits, and it's one of the four obtainable mythical swords in the game currently as of recording this video. It is the only sword in the game that you need to pay for or someone else needs to pay for so that you can use it. It has two moves just like every other sword, one being the Z move that slices the air in front of you, stunning any opponents in it for about a second, and breaking the observation of the opponents for the first couple ticks of damage. If you hold the Z move for a second, you will be launched forward while using this move. Still doing the same thing, but instead just going forward a bit. The X move launches one giant slice out straight into the air, going really far. This move does not break the observation of the enemies and only makes them lose one single dodge. You can also hold this move for one second and then it will go much faster, as you can see, like that. Now, what are the pros of Dark Blade? So Dark Blade is a very strong sword that you can use until the end of the game when you are max level. It has very low mastery requirements, considering that the second move only needs 50 mastery to unlock. It has decent mobility with the Z move compared to other swords in the first C. You can upgrade Dark Blade to the V2, upgrading its moves, and also get the Slayer skin, which is what I have right now, the white skin, instead of the green, which gives you some extra stuff to do in Box Fruits in case you are bored. It also has pretty high damage, especially for the first two Cs. The Z move has a decent range and stuns the enemy. The X move has high range and goes super fast if you hold it. And yeah, those are all the pros. And now for the cons. Considering this is one of the four obtainable mythical swords at the moment, two of the other ones are better, in my opinion, than the Dark Blade. And those two swords are True Triple Katana and the Cursed Jewel Katana, even though that they can be obtained in the second and third C, respectively, whereas Dark Blade can be bought in any of the Cs as long as you have the Robux or someone pays for it for you. It does cost 1,200 Robux, which is decently high, especially considering some of the other game passes are only about 400 Robux. It is decently difficult to perform combos with it, especially if you are not very good at the game, because you need good reaction time and also aiming skills. The Z move has low mobility compared to other swords in the second and third C, going not too far at all. The X move cannot break observation Haki, no matter what, and only makes the opponent lose one dodge, which is quite insignificant. And finally, the fourth click launches you forward, meaning you cannot AFK with it. One, two, three, four. As you can see, it goes forward, so you cannot AFK, which is very bad. And those are all the cons of Dark Blade. Now, overall, my opinion of Dark Blade is that it's a very good sword if you get it in the first C or early into the second C, and it is also decent for farming and good for PvP, but definitely isn't the best in either of those two categories. If you were trying to get it just so that you can have all the swords in the game, don't pay for it, but instead try to trade for it so that you don't have to waste your money. I also traded for it and got it for a really good price a long, long time ago, and that's a couple years ago. There are a lot of other swords you can get that are much better for either farming or PvP, such as the CDK, TTK, the Shark Anchor, and Dragon Trident, just to name a few. Now, I recommend that you should only get the Dark Blade if you want to get every single sword in the game, for some reason, or if you think that you'll enjoy using it. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.